Let us begin with tutorial number 7. Let us take the first problem given x1 of n we are supposed to find x is dft values x of k using dif fft algorithm that is decimation in frequency and fast Fourier transform algorithm. So we have been given x of x1 of 0, x2, x1 of 1, x1 of 2, x1 of 3, x1 of 4, x1 of 5, 6 and 7. The values given are 1, 2, minus 1, it is 2, 4, 2, minus 1, 2. We are supposed to find its DFT values x of k. Now let us trace this butterfly diagram in stage 1. So you can see here x of 0 is 1 whereas x of 4 is 4. So you get here as 5. So there we have 5. Next one x1 of 1 is 2 and if you see here x1 of 5 is 2 so it is 2 plus 2 that is 4 so you get here 4. Next one x1 of 2 is minus 1 x1 of 6 is minus 1 so we get this value as minus 2. Next one is x3 x1 of 3 is 2 and x1 of 7 is 2. So we get this value as 4. Next is here x1 of 4 is minus 4. And here x1 of 0 is 1. So we get minus 4 plus 1. That is minus 3 multiplied by w8 to the power 0. That is 1. So we get this as minus 3. Here we have minus 2 and from here we have plus 2. So we get this value as 0 multiplied by W8 to the power uh, 1 that is also is equal to 0. Next we have x1 of 6 is minus 1 and x1 of 2 is minus 1. So x1 of 6 is minus 1 multiplied by minus 1. So it is plus 1. So it becomes 0 multiplied by W8 to the power 2 that is 0. Now you have here it is 2 from x1 of 3 and x1 of 7 is 2 into minus 1 that is minus 2. So here we get 0 multiplied by W8 to the power 3 that is also 0. So we will move to the second stage. Second stage you have here 5 and this is minus 2. So we have here 3. Next stage is this is 4 and this is 4. So we get this as 8. Next we have here if you look at here this is 5 and this is minus 2 into minus 1 that is plus 2. So you get this as 7. 7 multiplied by W8 to the power 0, 1 will give you 7. Next one is, this is 4, this is minus 4. So, you can you add it, you get this as 0 multiplied by W8 to the power 2, that is also 0. So, here if you next stage, you have minus 3 from here and 0 from here. So, you get this as minus 3. So you have here minus 3. Then you have 0 from here 
then you have 0 from here. So, you get this as 0. Next one is if you look at here, you have 0 from here and minus 3 from here. So, you get this as minus 3 multiplied by 1. So, you get this as minus 3. Next stage is here 0, here also 0 multiplied by w8 to the power 2 that is also 0. We will go to the third stage. In the third stage you can see here this is 3 and this is 8. So, we have here 11 that is equal to x of 0. Next one if you look at here this value is 3 and this value is minus 8. So, minus 8 plus 3 so you get minus 5. Since it is decimation in frequency, so you are going to get x, x1 of 4. This is x1 of 0. Similarly, we have 7 here, 0 here. So, we get here this as 7 and that value is x1 of 2. Next one is here you have 7, here you have 0. So, you get this also as 7 and that value is x1 of 6. Next one is minus 3 plus 0. So, you get this as minus 3 and this is x1 of 1. Next one is here it is minus 3, 0. So, you get this as minus 3. This is x1 of 5. This is minus 3, 0. So, you get this as minus 3 and here you have minus 3, 0. This is minus 3. This is x1 of 3 and this is x1 of 7. Now, let us write this as x1 of k is, is now 11 minus 3, 7, minus 3, minus 5, minus 3, 7, minus 3. And we have to find out DFT of x2 of n that is equal to DFT of x1 of minus n that is given by x of n minus k here n value is equal to 8 so 8 minus k so the answer is here when the k value is equal to 0 it is x of 8 x of 8 is x of 0 x1 of 0 so you get this as 11 whatever you are getting here is x2 of k when k value is equal to 1 it is x1 of 7. x1 of 7 is minus 3. When k value is equal to 2, it is x1 of 6. So, that is 7. It is followed by minus 3, minus 5, minus 3, 7, minus 3. This is the answer. Let us begin with the second problem of tutorial number 7. Given x of k values that is dft values of x of n we need to find x of n using uh, dif fft algorithm that is dif idft algorithm the algorithm is implemented using a butterfly diagram as shown in the figure for us they have given us x of 0 as 0 x of 4 is also 0 x of 2 is 0 x of 6 is 0 whereas x of 1 is 2 root 2 1 minus j x of uh, 5 is 0 x of 3 is 0 whereas x of 7 is 2 root 2 1 plus j now we will consider the first stage stage 1 is 0 this is also 0 so you get this as 0 here also it is 0. So, next stage is here it is 0. This is also 0. So, you get this as 0 multiplied by 1. 
it is 0 here then we have 0 here 0 here so you get 0 multiplied by w a to the power minus 2 that is j that is 0 so next step is here 2 root 2 minus 1 minus j this is 0 so you get this as 2 root 2 1 minus j and here you have 2 root 2 1 minus j plus 0 so you get this as 2 root 2 1 minus j and here you have 0 here it is 2 root 2 1 plus j so I can write this as 2 root 2 1 plus j multiplied by 1 so you get the same answer and here you have 0 and minus 2 root 2 uh, 1 plus j so you get this as minus 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 j multiplied by j that will give you uh, 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 j the state number 2 this is 0 this is 0 so you get this as 0 and here you have 0 and this is also 0 so you get this as 0 then you have here 0 and this is also 0 so this is 0 then this is 0 this is 0 so you get this as 0 and here if you look at I have 2 root 2 1 minus j here I have 2 root 2 1 plus j when I add it I get this as 4 root 2 multiplied by 1 I am going to get 4 root 2 next stage is here it is 2 root 2 1 minus j and here it is 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 j so you get this as minus 4 root 2 j multiplied by w a to the power minus 2 0 0.707 minus j 0.707 you get this as 8 and this is 2 root 2 1 minus j this is 2 root 2 1 plus j multiplied by minus 1 so I get this as minus 4 root 2 j multiplied by j I get this as 4 root 2 so next stage is here it is uh, 2 root 2 1 minus j it is 2, 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 j so you get this as 0 multiplied by 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 gives you 0. Here you have 0 this is 4 root 2 so I get this as 4 root 2 so 4 root 2 divided by 8. So you get this as 1 by root 2 that is 0 0.707. Next stage is here 0 and this is 8. So I get 8. 8 divided by 8 I will be getting x of 1 as 1. Next stage is here it is 0 and it is 4 root 2. So I get this as 4 root 2 divided by 8 x of 2 is 0 0.707 here we have 0 and this value is also 0 so I get this value as 0 so 0 next stage is here I have 0 and this is minus 4 root 2 so I get this as minus 4 root 2 divided by 8 minus 0 0.707 This is 0, this is minus 8. Minus 8 divided by 8, you get this as minus 1. This is 0, this is minus 4 root 2. So minus 4 root 2 divided by 8, so you get this as minus 0.707. This is 0, this is 0. So you get this as 0 divided by 8. So you get this as 0. And here in the rightmost side whatever values you have these are x of n values. So I can write x of n is equal to 
These are x of n values. 